this has been on my project list ever since I found it. So this was a horse Hames that I found in that old barn and in that shed that had all those bags of garbage was this beautiful uh, horse collar. And from our understanding, the last uh, farmer that lived there uh, used mules, so it was probably a mule. It's uh, pretty beaten up, pretty roached out. There's a little hole there where the uh, straw is starting to come through. But wow, what a piece of history. So I'm going to just clean it up. I'm not going to like actually restore it, um, like to total restore, but just get it cleaned up. Uh, and then also just clean this one up too and just maybe put a clear coat on it and uh, get it back together. And I think that'll look really neat hanging on one of the walls in Kentucky. I know some people put mirrors in the middle. I don't think I would put a mirror in it. I think I'm going to just leave it. Maybe, uh, I don't know, put something in the middle, but I love it just the way it is. For the hames, I just used some steel wool. Uh, I didn't want to use sandpaper because I didn't want to take too much off. The steel wool actually worked really good um, because I was able to do the metal and also the wood. Next, I started tackling the collar itself, and that was pretty beat up and pretty dirty. So I used a combination of glycerin soap, and then I also used a leather conditioner. Because the leather was pretty dry and brittle, so I really couldn't scrub it or soak it. So I had to be real gentle, but I had to use a little elbow grease too. So I changed it from this dry piece to this nice soft supple. Um, still old and still brittle, but a lot better. The, um, the hames themselves, I didn't want to paint them or anything, so I just used some of my wipe on poly, which worked really good for on the metal and also for um, on the uh, wood. But uh, I was really happy with how it ended up just a, needed a little bit of cleaning and putting that clear coat on really brought out the oak. I definitely wanted to keep the original leather and uh, you know even that broken piece where the straw was coming out but I didn't want to have it make a mess by all that straw being loose so I actually just put on some of that flex seal and it's keeping it in place and you can't even tell. Well, I needed a way to keep its shape and I didn't want to put a backing on it. So what I ended up doing was I used a metal coat hanger, poked two holes in, one on each side, uh, made it so they're nice and tight, and that'll help keep hold its shape. And it'll also help keep this wheat in. I just love decorating with wheat. Uh, it is such a beautiful plant, natural, reminds me of the farm, and it, I felt it was perfect to put inside of this decoration, seeing as that mule probably plowed or harvested some wheat at some point.